Yeah, so we purchased the Soil Warrior. It's a 24 row, 22 inch machine, uh, twin bin. So we can variable rate out of either bin or both bins at the same time. Um, it's set up with a triple coulter, so a lead coulter and then two wavy coulters behind that. We're running four to six inches deep and he'll run uh, seven to nine miles an hour. So as we transitioned the strip till, we were concerned about getting our fall tillage done. And, and typically at that time we were, you know, using a ripper and we'd get 160 acres to 200 acres done a day at the most. And uh, now he's doing three to 350 acres a day with that machine if we can keep fertilizer to them. So um, we're not having a problem to get the acres covered. We just gotta make sure we have a guy in the seat to keep it rolling. So basically we just commit one person to that and he chases the combines in the fall to get it done. So it's worked out well. Um, machine's very well built. The company's been fantastic to work with. Um, and so we're very pleased with the machine. Still running the original one we bought in 2014. This, uh 24 row high speed planter so we can drive fast with it. So we just built this a year ago. So normally we plant at four to five miles an hour. With this planter we can run eight to 10. It's all precision planting products. So it has, uh, you see here it has hydraulic downforce. So it keeps the planter in the ground. When you drive that fast, it would tend to float out of the ground if you didn't. So it's always maintaining equal ground pressure. It has uh, electric, or I mean, air cylinder uh, trash wheels or residue wheels on it, so you can adjust those from the cab. Um, it has electric drive seed meters, and then it has uh, airbag closing system. And this is where our 32% comes and dribbles along both sides of the row, out the back. So it's just kind of set up for the high speed and it works out really well. This planter will plant about the same acres as the 36 row just because it goes faster, being only 24. Um, and they'll plant uh, 350 acres each a day. I mean, we can get a lot done if it's if it's fit. So, goes goes really well. So that's a sugar beet harvest. So the sugar beet is like a big turnip that grows in the ground, and then it has leaves that stick up about this size. So we have a another machine that's in a different shed. That's like a stock chopper that takes the leaves off. And so you just have this like. Uh, turn up in the ground that the leaves are all cut off the top so there's like a white circle because it cuts into the beet a little bit so you don't want any green on the beet or when you put it in a big pile it'll spoil in the pile so you picture that beet is uh, some, about this big around and goes to a point like a turnip would be and these wheels as as they turn in the ground they pinch in the back, there's a pinch point, so it kind of grabs the beet by the shoulders and it pops it out of the ground. And it flips it up onto that chain bed back there that's turning really fast, so it knocks all the dirt off of it. Then it kind of funnels it to the back. And it goes up into that tank and then out to the truck that's sidewinding next to you, driving alongside. So you load the semi and when it's full, it takes it to the piling site. And the next truck pulls underneath and you just continue to do that so it works really well unless it's muddy then it doesn't work very well <laughs>